everyone. I recently sold a couple, a few junk journals, and I just wanted to do a really quick flip through um, before they go away so I can remember what they look like and what they were. This one I stitched together with a long stitch. I don't do that very often. I tied some little beads and a key charm onto the spine. So those are there permanently. I actually painted the cardboard here. It's just a piece of cardboard that I, I painted on both sides. There's not any paper. I, I, I painted right on the cardboard and made that this, the cover. So inside are just some random papers, some book pages, some textbook pages, color book pages, um, magazine images, some painted paper, doily, puzzle pages. Um, this is a flyer for a museum, calendar pages, some envelopes that have some little things in them. This is for um, this I got in Savannah. I thought it was a cute little postcard for a book. Um, these are Kool-Aid dyed paper. More book pages or magazine images. I put some things in the pockets. These are some little little cards, some tickets. So just some fun little things. This one's a junk journal, but it doesn't really have pockets. It is mostly maybe for a glue book or something like a collage book or something like that. Here's a piece of my wax paper that I put circles on, stamp circles on there. Um, more, another envelope with some, some candy wrappers and some wrapping paper bits. There are some little fish bits in the pockets so that the person who this is going to can, there's some cards in this one, can use those in the book or someplace else. Um, I just wanted some options. Another one of my painted papers. In this pocket, there's a bunch of images in here, little images that they can glue in or, or whatever. Children's book, some Joss papers in this envelope. Um, and an itchy nose. Um, some little book pages. Most of those are foreign fish bits, foreign book fish bits, a map, just that kind of thing. Here's some horses. That's a magazine page. There's some uh, stamped images in this pocket. And I just love that picture. I don't know what it is about that picture, but I really like the way it peeks through. Some stickers in that pocket. There's some there's an envelope here with more images in it. More Kool-Aid dyed paper. And that is that one. And then this one, I sewed this one with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I had this cover for a long, long time, and I started doing a some junk journal signatures. And I showed how I put them together on a stream, and I, I spent uh, quite a few streams just working in this book and just adding some stuff. And I also did things off of the stream as well. So a lot of this is in videos and that kind of thing. So it's just a random collage. I use the junk journal signatures. 
I did some random collage on top and I added a brochure there in something in the pocket but I kind of just was messing around with it and just had some fun here's a doesn't have anything in it but it's just a tea bag so it's just a collage book that I was doing things in and I enjoyed doing it and I probably will do it again so this is I think this is the collage that I did uh, when I first started doing the collage videos and this was the first one it was an invitation to start doing some collage with me and this is the the spread that that came out of that just a random um, collage so this is one of my favorites in the book um, here's a little journaling card in here and that fits in so that you can see it in the in the window of this envelope here and so that's all this is it was just a, a working a working collage book done on top of, of, of a junk journal and so if you want to see some of these pages being made quite a few of them are on videos and, and things like that so um, they're there to see if you want to see how they were made um, and that's one of my favorites too I don't know what it is about this one but I like that page too so I will have to start another junk journal for collage because this one is going away to a new home so I just wanted to show them before they left thanks for watching